which graph, well, which function has an inverse that is a function? Well, we learned how to tell if a, if a graph represents a function. Um, look at this graph right here. Is this a function? Yes, it is, because we learned something called the vertical line test. If I draw a vertical line and it always hits exactly one point, then it's a function. So no matter where I put this line, it only hits one point at a time. So that makes this a function. Okay. Um, what about a graph that looks like this? Okay. Is that a function? Well, no, that's not a function because if I took the graph and put, uh, if I took this vertical line and put it here, that hits more than one point. It hits three points. So that is not a function. Okay, now, um, the inverse, if I want to talk about whether or not the inverse is a function, I need to use the horizontal line test. Okay, so for example, um, here's a graph right here. Is this a function? Okay, is the inverse a function? Okay, I can easily tell that this is a function because of the way it passes the vertical line test. So is this a function? Yes. All right, I'm using the vertical line test. If I want to know if the inverse is a function, I need to switch to the horizontal line test. This fails the horizontal line test because it hits twice. That means the inverse is not a function. Okay, so if I want to check the function, I use a vertical line test. If I want to check the inverse, I use the horizontal line test. Okay, so that's what I'm about to do right now. So for the rest of this problem, all I care about is the inverse. So I am going to use the horizontal line test. Okay, now you have to know what these graphs basically look like. Um, looking at this, um, I'm looking at a parabola. I see that it's x squared. I know that's a parabola. Okay, is the inverse going to be a function? No, it fails the horizontal line test. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, this right here is just a line. Okay, because this is really just y equals negative 9. y equals negative 9 is a horizontal line like this. All right. Um, does this pass the horizontal line test? No. Um, if I put a horizontal line through this graph, it's a horizontal line is going to hit infinitely many points. So this fails miserably. So that's, that's definitely a no. Um, what about the next one? Okay, this is also linear. This is basically the line uh, y equals negative 7x. All right, so this is a diagonal line with a negative slope. So it's a downward facing line because it's, it's negative. Um, now, will the inverse have a function? I'm using the, uh, uh, will the inverse be a function? I'm using the horizontal line test. Well, yes, actually, because this passes the horizontal line test. A horizontal line only hits one point. So that one is going to be a big old yes. Okay, let's follow through and talk about the very last one. All right, which obviously has to be a no since we already found our yes. Um, this is the absolute value function. The absolute value function forms a V shape. All right, this is what absolute value functions look like. 
and again this fails the horizontal line test all right because it hits more than once so um, the third one is the only one that passes the horizontal line test that's why the inverse is a function